Big competition, just one more day until the 10th. It's Pittsburgh Marathon and every day here on PTL, we're featuring stories leading up to race weekend. Today, the elite runners who will be hitting the streets because there are more elite runners than ever before. Here to tell us why are the Marathon's elite program coordinator, Ryan Hogan, and two-time marathon champ, Clara Santucci. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Such an exciting time. Very. And Claire, you were running again. Yes, this will be my third time running. I've won it the first two years I've run it. And so this will be my third time fingers, going for it. Fingers crossed for a yeah. third win. Um, can you talk a little bit about the elite runners? Why are we seeing more this year than ever before? Sure. So um, typically on marathon race weekend, we have two races that have elite athletes. We have the half marathon and the full marathon. Uh, this year, the race is playing host to the U.S. Half Marathon National Championship. Oh, wow. So that draws um, more interest from professional runners from all over the country. Um, so we have about 45 men and women, so 90 athletes total in the half marathon, which is almost double the, the numbers we usually what see. What usually. And uh, do I understand this right? This will be the same case next year as well? Do you have the total? That's correct. Yep, Pittsburgh's next? hosting the half marathon championships for 2018 and 19. This is exciting. How do you get something like that? Yeah, there's a, there's a pretty extensive bid process uh, with USA Track and Field, which is the governing body of the, the sport of athletics. Um, so I think we started working on the bid back in 2016, mm -hmm. and we were awarded it last year, and then we've had a year to get ready, and now it's here. So let's talk about some of the elite athletes that we're going to see this year, and there are a couple of them. Yeah, absolutely. Well, a lot well, one of them, of them right? is sitting right next to me here. Yeah. So um, Clara would be, I believe, the first... Uh, person to ever win three Pittsburgh marathons um, and to do it in as many tries is very exciting. So she's headlining our women's marathon field. Um, and then in the men's marathon, we have our returning champion, Jacob Chemte, um, coming back, as well as Mike Wardian, who's a, an award winning ultra marathoner running uh, in the American field of that race. Um, in the half marathon championships, we, in the women's race, we have the Olympic gold medalist in the triathlon, Gwen Jorgensen. Uh, she'll be making her half marathon debut, so her first time ever running a competitive oh, half marathon. Cool. Uh, she actually gave birth to her son Stanley, uh, Stanley Lemieux. Uh, they're big <laughs> Pittsburgh <laughs> fans, the Jorgensons. It. Yes, her husband Pat Lemieux, um, and and their son Stanley. Uh, so this will be Gwen's first half marathon, um, and I think Stanley's six months old, seven months old now. So she's right back on the horse. Uh, wow. and she'll be challenged by. Uh, a couple of ladies who have run under an hour and 10 minutes for the half marathon. So Alephine Tuliamuk and Sarah Hall um, will be up there competing with her. She didn't waste any time getting back into training, did she? No, she did not. Um, <laughs> she's, she's been running world-class times um, right after giving birth, which is very impressive. On the men's side, uh, only three men have ever broken, uh, in the United States, have ever broken an hour uh, for the half marathon. And one of them uh, is going to be here, Leonard Career. Uh, recently ran 59 minutes in the half marathon uh, last fall. So he'll be here. Uh, Chris Derrick from the Bowerman Track Club um, and a slew of other other it's, guys as well. Sounds like an exciting time for the Pittsburgh Marathon. And Clara, okay, so you're going for three in your third marathon here in Pittsburgh, but I know that this has not come without injuries as you've been training um, throughout the years and, and running. Right, yeah, I've been, I was very fortunate in the early parts of my professional career of not having any major injuries. And then in the 2016 Olympic trials, um, just a couple weeks before that, I strained my hamstring mm. and it's been an ongoing um, issues since and I eventually ended up tearing it in a race uh, last year almost over a year ago so I had ended up taking six months off and now this will be my return to marathoning so I'm very excited and very thankful to be healthy again okay. and just out there competing so that's the first thing I want to really appreciate is just being able to run the marathon again and you're feeling good then Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> All right. Well, we hope that you get that third win. I mean, you're going to get a medal no matter what, right? But we hope, <laughs> right, we hope it's a big one. Thank you so much for thank joining you. us this morning. And thank Absolutely. you. And all the training is coming down, of course, to this weekend, race weekend for the Dick's Sporting Goods. Pittsburgh Marathon starts tomorrow. For a full schedule of all the events and races, you can go to kdk.com slash PTL. We've got it posted for you there. And watch tomorrow here on PTL for a preview of what you'll find at the Race Expo that opens to everyone, runners and non-runners alike on Friday. Plus, we'll show you some important stretches to do before and after the race in our Fitness Friday segment.